This graph show the shape of percentage of dose or PDD curve. It depends on the beam energy, low energy beam in the kilovoltage. Rain tender deposits a high dose near the surface with force off very repeatedly, with depth as we see here with a 3 mm copper half value layer or kilovoltage beam. But as beam energy increases into the mega water range, the dose of the surface drop, and we see a depth of maximum dose of the surface, which get deeper with beam energy. And we also see the dose falls off less rapidly, with depth at high beam energy, with a slow at four mega voltage. Full of being seen for the 10 megavoltage being here, we are gonna talk about three key features of these curves. The first one is surface dose. The kilovoltage beam deposits as maximum dose in skin surface. A cobalt 60 beam, which is quite a lot megavoltage energy beam, only deposits about 30%. Four mega voltage beam deposits about 15%, and 10 mega voltage beam deposits about 10% of the dust of the surface. The majority of surface dust in this high energy beam is due to electron contamination. The depth of maximum dust or D max tend to increase with beam energy. We tend to class kilowatt beam as having a D max of zero depositing maximum dose to the skin surface. This is entirely true as there is a small build up region in low energy beam too. It's just that very small. A cobalt 60 beam has a depth of maximum dose around half a centimeter for megawatt this beam has a depth of maximum dose around 1 cm. 10 MV has a depth of maximum dose around 2.5 cm. And 25 MV has a depth of maximum dose around 4 cm.